from a long time ago, people had to live a hard life full of misery. But since technologies are developing, AI systems came out, people's lives are better, better than before a lot. The goal of this artificial intelligence is to create the best technology that allows computers and machines to work in an intelligent manner. They would have incredible prediction, accuracy, and speed. They are able to complete dangerous tasks, explore in spaces, discover new abilities that people can do, or even save our planet. In the opposite, our environment is getting worse day by day. Environmental problems like global warming, climate change, or air pollution has affect heavily on the Earth. So why even AI systems make renewable energy technology like solar panels or wind turbines, which are more efficient and cost-effective, the environment is still not making progress. We all know when coronavirus came, we had to make sure to distance, and it seemed like a good signal to the environment. We can see there was less particulate matter and air pollution. The environment has improved clearly. However, people can just sit there and make social distance like that forever. So what happens when we get back to usual life? When there's no more social distance and vehicles, factories will come back to work and the pollution again will increase. Whether this days 50 years later will be the last day of the world or not. Of course we can't just sit there and make social distance any longer when all of the factory machines, cars, motorbikes and planes are beginning to run after run the engines after COVID-19. That means lots of particulate matter will be increasing in the Earth's atmosphere. Trees are the only solution for the environment because those green bodies create oxygen for all of the creatures in the world, including humans. Trees absorb harmful gases, then transfer them to produce oxygen, which helps clean the air, cool the streets and the cities. But the problem is there aren't many trees in the world now. Do you remember a great fire that started in Australia this year? It burned high amounts of trees and lots of wild animals were killed. That was bad. Uh, the fire led to a climate change in Australia. Harmful gases appear everywhere in Australia's atmosphere. We really need fresh air to breathe. Uh, the forests need to be planted and the PM on the earth should be decreased more. And with the technology innovations, I believe that we can answer the question about air pollution. We can answer all sorts of problems I've told you. So, how do we use AI to manage the environment? We can use technology-based solutions. Right now, we're having a plan of making an app. Right now, we're having a plan of making a, this, an automatic fire, fire expression system. And I believe that if we add set of that, this system in the forest, it will prevent wildfires. Uh, like when the temperatures increase and usually in unusual in the forest. Uh, this system will recognize it as a dangerous signal to the forest and it would spray and then the, ra the robot would spray the waters to cool down the air or to destroy the heat before it's become to fire. Furthermore, right now we are programming to let the robots be available in the forest and save the animals when they're in danger. Like in the brush fires uh, that's, that reach across Australia from 2019 to 2020s we can see that the rescue teams could not save the animal because it is too so it is so I so it is better if we let the robots to do that that task for task for us uh, in line with the above damage concerns for the forest protections need local government coordination uh, this and we are planning to make an apps uh, apply smart software to protect the forest um, this is like uh, apps it's like we are using we are using AI to scanning the people. Uh, we are using AI to scan people logging the trees illegally in the forest, and this works like a detection system. So it's gonna scan detection system. So it's gonna recognize. So it's gonna know the unusual sound in the forest or some changes in the forest, and it's gonna send an alter to the to the dispatch centers, and. Uh, when the signals come to the police stations, the dispatchers will decide to to dis, uh, decide to um, to respond to the signals or not, and then they're gonna arrest the people who are doing that. And um, I believe that with this app, the government can manage the forest uh, closely and effectively. With the furthermore, um, AI is developing and how could we increase the trees, the numbers of trees in the forest. And Maxim's gonna tell you about this theory. 
Nowadays, there are a lot of problems associated with environmental pollution and destruction of nature by other people. But one of the main problems is cutting the trees. The number of trees decreases every day because of human impact. Uh, at the same time, we and the planet need them to get oxygen, which is necessary for any life. This is why it's a big problem for humans. So, the solution to this issue can be connect, uh, connecting trees with people uh, in the far future. Uh, it will connect population of trees and people. Uh, so, it means that uh, if the number of people increases, the number of trees uh, will increase too. Uh, but it will be possible only in the far future. And we think that AI uh, can help us to increase trees population right now. So the main idea is uh, that AI uh, can automatically count uh, the number of people in the specific region using photos from drones or space and analyze it. The idea may sound a bit crazy and fantastic, huh? but who knows, with the development of us and technology, there is no limitation on what humans can do. Back to the first question. Do you think this day 50 years later will be the last day of the world or not? This is definitely a very confusing question to everyone and from what we've seen so far, we might think that the more development technology has is the more damage the environment will be. But that is what has been happening right now, exactly not our future. We believe that we can create a generation where technology and the forest and the environment will go up with no differences and will go grow in the same way, better and better. That is our future. So, this is IOA Speak Up 2020. Are you ready? Vote for us!